What's going on everybody? It's your boy Pickle Rick back with another tutorial. Today we are going to do how to multi-stream uh, for free from your PC. Uh, seen a lot of people talking about restream not working with StreamCraft. A um, few other issues here and there. Um, well, I have a way today that you can do it right on your PC for free uh, to as many streaming outputs as you want as long as your output bandwidth uh, is fast enough um, so in the description below there is going to be a link to a file you'll need to download uh, once you download it, it's going to be a zip file called multi stream right here on my desktop uh, inside of that folder it's going to be two things. You're going to have the multi-stream folder, and then you're also going to have a .exe file for uh, Notepad++. You don't have to use Notepad++ if you like using a different application to you uh, edit config files. By all means, use it. Um, I just wanted to include this because it's what I use, and it's what you're going to see me use here to edit the config files to import in your stream keys. Because at least with StreamCraft for the time being, um, it's going to always change. So you're always going to have to edit the config file whenever you're you're doing it. Um, so pretty much what you'll do is first step is you want to go ahead and run the in, uh, NPP uh, exe file. Go ahead and install Notepad Plus. Once that's done, come back to your multi-stream folder. Just drag it onto your desktop or wherever it wherever else you would like to put it at uh, inside of the folder I've got it already configured up for you um, you have a start and a stop file uh, start obviously launches the the service stop shuts it down um, <clears throat> to go in and configure the streams that you're going to be streaming to you go into the configuration file and just config or con f and you have an nginx.config. Um, with this, if you just left click it one time to highlight it, right click it, edit with Notepad++. Like I say, if you're not using Notepad++, you can, you know, obviously you'll you'll do your way. But this is just exactly how I do it. Um, once the folder or file opens up, right here on line 15, um, you'll see where we have push and then RT or TMP address slash team key uh, and this here basically is where you're going to just grab your RTMP address slash your steam key stream key um, and we can walk through that let me bring this over so we can hold hands and do it together uh, pretty much what I've got here is my stream key uh, the very first one you'll just go and copy it drop it in here one thing that I will state as well too which I know that I've seen uh, a few people mess up with that I've helped this with the uh, the colon at the end has to be there if it is not there it will not work uh, the colon ends that line and allows the script to run to the next line so if you're going to be doing more than one or even just one uh, the colon has to be at the end uh, of your um, your line. Uh, so now that we've posted our RTMP address, we'll go to the very end of it, add a slash, and then we'll grab our key here, and come back, and we'll paste it. So now if you look, we've got our RTMP address slash and then your stream key with a colon at the end I think it's a colon semicolon I don't know what it's called doesn't matter uh, the next line I I already pre threw in a twitch address um, just to kind of show you how to do the twitch one um, just because I wasn't going to post my twitch stream key while I did this video um, same way with it right where I put stream key here on it you'll just paste in your stream key basically <laughs> all the other information is there for you um, 
and this works on any service so basically right now we've got streamcraft we've got twitch if you wanted another service as well too you would just hit enter type in push and then paste in your rtmp address slash your stream key and do the, the colon semicolon whatever it is um, at the end of it <clears throat> and like i said you can do as many as you want on it uh, but now we're just because we're just going to be testing with these uh, once you have those completed, you'll just save this file. Lower it down. Go back to the main folder. Um, and at this point is where you would just run your start bat file. Um, one thing that I like to do is if you come to like the start or stop uh, file, right click it. Go to send to go to desktop create shortcut and what that'll do is basically dumps a shortcut out uh, so that way you don't have to go back in open this folder same exact thing goes for with the the configuration file since you're going to be changing your stream key you're gonna to have to open this file and edit it every time with, with streamcraft currently so the easiest thing to do is to right click it send to desktop create shortcut uh, and I like to keep them all together so that way I can easily access them um, so I can edit my file real quick right here uh, I can start the RTMP service I can stop it um, and then we'll go ahead and we will test this just to kind of show you uh, into the OBS settings with it uh, so once we've got that all configured let me grab my twitch information here real quick and I'll import that in just so that way you can actually see it function and don't think I'm some kind of magician. Based on the of max characters you have. Ooh. Sorry, Swifty. Uh, grab my key. Oh, I already got it up. It's right there. Copy. Okay, now I'll save that and then on your OBS uh, basically what you want to do is you want to go into your settings come into stream and this is going to be the information that you're going to want to put in it so it's just going to be RTMP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash live uh, that is going to be whenever you're using the RTM service, that's what you're going to input in. For stream key, just put live in it. Um, that's all you have to do because basically what you're doing <clears throat> is you're piping the stream that you're making on your PC to the RTMP server that you have on your machine and then it is going to be broadcasting it out. Um, so if you're doing uh, a 2000 you know kilobyte stream it's going to be 4,000 output because you're going to be sending 2,000 to to streamcraft you're going to be sending 2,000 to YouTube or twitch so it's definitely one thing to keep in mind if you don't have the bandwidth that's one thing that you've got to play around with um, and figure if this would work beneficially for you because um, I know any more 10 down or not 10 down but 10 up internet is pretty pretty common um, even you know much higher depending on the area that you're in I mean if you have a 50 upload then yeah you're not going to have any issues at all um, but once you enter in this information here you just hit OK uh, information's all good to go in move this to the side here uh, once you have your configuration set up with your keys we're just going to double click to start it it's going to pop up typically on your first shot it's going to ask you to uh, allow it through the firewall. You'll just hit allow. Uh, just kind of going to sit here. What you can do with this is you can just lower it down because it doesn't need to be up. Just do not close it. Just minimize the window down. Um, and then you come over to your OBS or even XSplit, doesn't matter, uh, whichever you're using. Click start streaming. Uh, once you get the the go to green that means you are streaming on both services um, we can actually 
we can test to show you that we are currently streaming on both I'll lower this down and here is my stream on my twitch and then here is going to be my stream on streamcraft no smoke and mirrors extremely easy to set up um, once you get it set up and rolling I mean it's it's pretty straightforward the only thing you have to do at all is edit your configuration file uh, for whatever stream you're going to be using so I mean like I say this will you this will work with any any RTMP server so any any YouTube mixer uh, streamcraft anything that you want to use Facebook uh, the only thing you need is just the RTMP uh, address um, and if you have a service that you want to use that you can't figure out the RTMP address either just shoot me a message or uh, you know typically you can just Google twitch RTMP YouTube RTMP um, you know if you can't find that information uh, to throw in here uh, outside of that if you've got any questions feel free to message me uh, or post any kind of comments on the video I'll try to help you out with anything that I can with it um, outside of that uh, this is your boy pickle Rick deuces